clicked on this video for a number of reasons. You lack motivation, lack results, knowledge, have no time, or are scared of what other people are going to think about you. Well, no worries. My name is Isabella, and I'm going to help you become your most strong, fit, beautiful, and sexy self for 2024. Let me tell you something. Motivation goes hand in hand with all the reasons I just listed you right now. If you lack motivation to go to the gym, you're going to say that you don't have time to work out. Maybe the reason you lack motivation is because you don't know what kind of routine plan you should be doing, therefore lacking results because you're not working out. So you can see how all of this goes hand in hand and it's an endless spiral of excuses just because you're not putting that front foot forward and you're letting a feeling dictate what you're going to do. Motivation is not sustainable and you need to understand that now. Instead, we're gonna find out the reason as to why you're wanting to make this lifestyle change of incorporating working out into your day to day. It's going to be your driving factor on the days where you don't feel like working out and it is going to happen. You're not gonna feel like meal planning. You're not going to feel like going to the gym, but you know if you have a goal and a why in mind, you are going to do it. Is it to lose weight, become confident, feel better, put in that cute little dress for your birthday? Once you figure out your why, you're going to take a piece of paper and write down goals, feelings, and execution. This is going to be your progress tracking tool for the next couple of weeks and months. Even if you feel like complete dog you're gonna write that down because you're gonna look at this down the road and see not only the physical changes you made but emotionally and mentally as well for the goal you're gonna make this incredibly detailed using a format called needs goals and time frame a need is something you want maybe you want to lose weight gain muscle feel better that's a need a goal is something more specific to that maybe you want to lose 15 pounds Maybe by feeling better, your goal is to be able to get up earlier in the morning to work out. It's more specific to your need. I mean, what time, time frame do you want to get this done? Let's say your goal is weight loss. I want to lose weight, more specifically 15 pounds in six months in time for my birthday. Or maybe let's say your need is to feel better. I want to feel better so I can get up in the morning at 5 a.m. to do my workout. And I want to see this happen in the next two to three months by building this into a habit. So you have your goal. You have how you're feeling and now you have your execution that we're gonna do what's your plan do you have a plan do you need a plan oh but isabella i i don't know what to do at the gym i'm going to give you a three-day beginner workout plan okay it's gonna be split up with legs upper body and full body and you are going to do this three days a week all of these workouts you're going to be doing three sets of 10 to 12 reps depending on the weight and the intensity that you start off with then over time progressing with heavier weight and reps For all of these days they are all going to be dumbbell only workouts it's simple it's efficient it's a good starting point especially if you're just starting to go to the gym to kind of dip your toes in on the little equipment that you have so for the first day we are going to be focusing on legs for a good leg day i advise to do a 5 10 minute cardio warm-up whether that's cycling running skipping as well as sound light dynamic stretching i'm talking leg swings i'm talking hip openers i'm talking leg circles i'm talking all of it so first up we have a goblet squat you're going to hold a dumbbell by your chest keeping your back straight and your chest out keeping your feet shoulder width apart with your toes pointed out you're going to go down and come back up you should be feeling these more in your glutes and your quads as well and you're going to be doing this for 10 to 12 reps next up for some lunges you're going to be holding a dumbbell on both sides you can also start off with body weight just so you can get a good balance but you're going to put your front foot in front of you bending your back one and 90 degrees and then pushing back up to the starting point and you're just going to repeat that with both sides next up for step ups you're going to get a sturdy box or a bench leaning it up against the wall just for balance purposes you're going to hold the weight in one hand pushing off of your leg and then coming back down you want to make sure that you fully extend when you come up and then focusing on the tension of your glutes on your way down for some dumbbell rdls you're going to hold the weight in both of your hands shoulder width apart as well having a slight bend at the knees this is going to help ensure that you target your hamstrings having more of a bend will mean that you focus more on your glutes you can kind of feel what works best for you we're going to have a little bit of a hinge at the hips you're going to go down until you feel a stretch in your hamstrings and then come back up you don't want to overdo it as this could put a strain into your lower back rather than using your hamstrings to come back up lastly we have calf raises you're going to hold the dumbbell on the side you're going to do the calf raise on 
put a hand up against the wall for stability and then push up from the balls of your feet and then come down to get a stretch in your calves and that is your leg day. For our upper body day, we're gonna start off with some light dynamic stretching. I'm talking arm circles, torso twists, pretty much anything that gets your upper body nice and moving. We're gonna start off with some push-ups. This is a compound movement of your pecs, shoulders, and triceps just to get them all warmed up for our isolation movements. We're going to be doing some dumbbell bench press. You're gonna lie with your back on the bench with both dumbbells in hand. You're going to push up and then come back down. You're going to want to stop at about the point where your chest starts. Doing any more than that can lead to injury and you want to prevent that. You're going to push up and come back down. Next up, you have some bent over rows for our back. You're going to lift up the bench just a little bit. You're going to take a dumbbell at hand, hinging your hips a little bit. You're going to want to have your palms facing your body. And then as you bring it up, you're going to push your shoulder blades together and then come back down. Now notice that when I'm coming up, I'm slightly turning my hand in. This is going to help in getting a better stretch into your lats. Next, we're going to set our bench straight up for some dumbbell shoulder press. You wanna have your arms be at 90 degrees with both dumbbells, and you're gonna wanna push up and come back down. Some pointers to keep in mind is you don't want to have your shoulders completely back. You want to have them on a little bit of an angle when coming down. Some lateral raises, you're going to sit with your back straight and chest out. And you should be doing this for primarily all of your workouts. You're going to have a dumbbell on both sides. And you're going to want to raise your arms up until it's over 9 degrees over your head. Now for some arm isolation movements, we have bicep curls. Pretty straightforward, a dumbbell on both sides. Keeping your arms out, you're going to want to come down have a full stretch and then come back up now for some dumbbell tricep extensions you're gonna have a dumbbell put it at the back of your head then you're going to want to bring it out and come back up if you did want to work on your triceps a little bit more you can have a little bit more of a bend rather than keeping them out like this because you're going to put more tension when coming up and down and that is your full, complete upper body workout. Now, finally, it is the last day. It is our full body day. You can do both dynamic stretching that we use for our legs and arms, as well as that cardio warm up. We wanna make sure that we hit majority of our muscle groups. Therefore, we wanna incorporate more compound movements such as push-ups, goblet squats, bent over rows. It's going to work out your back and biceps at the same time. Shoulder press, lateral raises, dumbbell RDLs, and calf raises. And last but not least, just so we really target everything, we're also going to do a plank for our core. We're gonna hold a plank position, engaging your core, and then hold that for about as long as you can. A good minimum starting point is 30 seconds. You can do this both on your elbows or with your hands, whatever you find easier or difficult to start off with. But Isabella, I don't have time. You always have time. It's just about prioritizing it. You have your goal, you have your routine, and now it's all about execution. Every single day, you're gonna mark down in your calendar when you're going to be doing your workouts. Whether that's before work at 5 a.m., after work at 6 p.m., you're going to put that in because you know at the exact same time every day you're gonna have to do your workout for set time. This is something called time blocking. It's where you only have a specific amount of time to do that task. Therefore, you're not going to be procrastinating doing that workout for two to three hours when it could have been done for 45 minutes. It's easy, it's simple, and you can just go home after. Now we're going to be moving on onto the 70% that's going to make or break your fitness journey, nutrition. To talk basic nutrition, you're going to want to incorporate more protein, carbs, and fats into your diet. Protein is what helps to build the muscle after tearing them into the gym. And I know we've all heard you need one gram of protein for every pound of body weight. Okay, no, pause. Pause. Don't try to run a marathon before you can work. You're not going to jump straight into macro tracking, restricting yourself because that's only going to burn you out. We're going to start off small by incorporating protein into all of your meals or majority of your meals for the day to kind of dip your toes in and get you used to incorporating protein into your diet. An easy way to do this is choose your protein for the week or the next couple of days. I'm talking chicken, turkey, beef, whatever that might be. You can make that a hundred different ways, okay? Chicken tacos, chicken fajitas, chicken parmesan, alfredo, it could be anything. So while we have protein for rebuilding the muscle, we also need carbs. 
while you do your workout your body uses carbs as fuel so therefore after your workout you need to replenish them in order for muscle growth as well it's really good to eat simple carbs before your workout such as fruits rice cakes something that your body can easily digest and use up as fuel and then post-workout, you can do more complex carbs. You can eat sweet potatoes, rice, quinoa to pair that with your protein. Adding fat into your meals can also be important for things like hormone regulation, but also your body uses up fat as another stored energy when doing workouts such as jogging or running. Things you can add into your meals for healthy fats are avocado, nuts, things like that that have some fats in them. To ensure that you stay on track with your meal planning, pick one day out of the week put it in your calendar i cannot emphasize this enough by putting things in your calendar as reminders of when you should be doing them but meal plan for the whole week or meal plan for the next couple few days and then switch it up so you don't get bored it's really really simple you just gotta do it lastly we have self-care and recovery days as important as working out and nutrition is we also want to make sure that we give our bodies enough time to rest and repair the muscles because we do not want to be overtraining them. It's only going to hurt your gains instead of helping them. Take one to two rest days out of the week or you can do the three day body program. Take a rest day and then rinse and repeat that as you go. Now I'm not telling you to go all out and have a cheat day but I am telling you to go reward yourself because psychologically when we put ourselves through hard tasks but then we know we have a reward waiting for us at the end of the day or at the end of the week that's going to give even more of that motivation factor to do it. Remember that little notebook that I told you about we're going to track your progress? You're going to do that at the end of every single week to write down what that progression is. Whether it's something you're feeling physically, mentally, emotionally, whatever that might be. And then take notes from that, whether it's positive or negative, and make changes as so. Like, let's say your workouts were really, really good this week. You're going to keep doing them. Let's say the workouts were not as good. Well, what's the issue? Are you getting up too early? Are your workouts too long? That is, of course, something that I can help out with as well. If it's more specific to your lifestyle, mindset, what your day-to-day -day is. If you click the link in my bio under get started, I will be able to go over all of that with you on how you can help better your workouts. It's the finale. You have everything you need to start working out, eating good, taking those rest days. What are people gonna think about me when I start going to the gym? And let me say that no one cares about you. It's harsh, but that's the truth and that's reality. Let's logically think about this. If you were someone at the gym hitting some heavy weights, have your headphones in or in the zone, are you seriously gonna look and actually think about a person and start judging them? You're not even going to pay attention to them. You're not going to realize that they're there. People at the gym are busy people just like you want to go in and out, do their workouts, and leave. They're not sitting there thinking about anything else but their workout. And you're not going to be thinking about others either. Hence why the three-day workout I gave you was more dumbbell-based. You can stay in one spot, do a workout, get in, get out, wham, bam, thank you, ma'am, and you are good to go. Next time you go to the gym, though, I'm going to want you to pick out the cutest gym workouts that you have. You're going to pick a banging playlist, and you're going to go to the gym you're gonna strut and walk in there feeling confident af however though your journey is going to be different from mine from the next person age genetics goals they all they all pay a factor okay the results i'm gonna get are not the same results that you are going to get and do not let that discourage you With fitness you have to stay consistent hence building this into your lifestyle that's how you're going to see results if you're wanting more additional help with goals lifestyle mindset nutrition like i said you can click the link down in my bio under get started message me if you have any questions comment down below your biggest takeaway from this video and make sure to like and subscribe i cannot wait to see you all in my next video video.